In the coastal town of Ostend, where the whispers of the North Sea intertwined with the tales of yesteryears, lived James Sidney Edward, Baron Ensor, a maestro of Belgian art, whose canvases echoed with the vibrant hues of eccentricity. Born in 1860 to the erudite James Frederick Ensor and Maria Katharina Hageman, Ensor's early years were marked by a disdain for academic pursuits, leading him to bid adieu to formal education at the tender age of 15. His journey into the realm of art began at the prestigious Academy of Fine Arts in Brussels, where he crossed paths with the enigmatic Ferdinand Knopf. Little did the world know that within the walls of that academy, a creative tempest was brewing, one that would shape the trajectory of artistic expression. From the attic studio of his parental home, Ensor unfurled a tapestry of imagination that stretched beyond the conventional. The canvases, initially adorned with scenes like Russian music and the drunks, transformed over time into a kaleidoscope of surreal subjects. His palette evolved, embracing the bizarre and whimsical, epitomized by grotesque masks in the scandalized masks, and skeletons fighting for a hanged man, inspired by his mother's souvenir shop during Austin's carnival. Themes of carnival, masks, puppets, skeletons, and fantastical allegories dominated Ensor's mature oeuvre. His studio became a realm where skeletons donned attire for enigmatic, vibrant paintings or masks assumed theatrical roles in his still lifes. Attracted to the plastic forms, colors and psychological impact of masks, Ensor crafted a pictorial language that allowed him to paint with unbridled freedom. Between 1888 and 1892, a pivotal period dawned for Ensor, marked by a shift toward religious themes, often depicting the torments of Christ. These compositions stemmed from his personal disgust for the inhumanity of the world. Notably, his monumental The Entry of Christ into Brussels, completed in 1889, was hailed as a precursor to the 20th century Expressionism. In this composition, a carnivalesque crowd featuring grotesque masks advances towards the viewer with recognizable Belgian politicians, historical figures, and Ensor's family members. Amidst the bustling throng, Christ on his donkey, a victim of mockery, is almost lost, a poignant reflection of Ensor's atheist identification with Christ. As Ensor belatedly gained recognition in the late 19th century, his style softened and brush strokes became less prolific. Critics often regard the last 50 years of Ensor's career as a period of decline, with aggressive sarcasm and scatology giving way to subdued repetitions of earlier works. Among the significant pieces from his later years are The Artist's Mother in Death, 1915, a muted portrayal of his mother's deathbed, foregrounding the vials of her medicines, and The Vivisectors, 1925, a vehement critique of those responsible for animal experimentation in medical research. In the early 20th century, Ensor's output diminished, and his focus shifted to music, despite lacking formal training. In his old age, he became a revered figure in Belgium, his daily walks making him a familiar sight in Ostend. 
Despite various female friendships throughout his life, Ensor never married. His journey concluded in Ostend on November 19, 1949, after a brief illness at the age of 89. And so the tale of Ensor unfolded, a narrative painted with eccentricity, rebellion, and an enduring legacy etched on the canvases that defied conventions and beckoned the viewer to explore the realms of imagination.